Hi students, in this video we are going to discuss about uh, inverse Z transform and we are going to find inverse Z transform using partial fraction method. Here consider this problem x of z is equal to z inverse 1 minus 0.25 z inverse minus 0.375 z power minus 2. The first step here it is we need to write it in terms of positive powers. So what I am doing is I am taking this z power minus 2 outside. So I need to divide this by z power minus 2 and also when I divide I will get uh, z square here I will get z here z minus 0 0.375 and also z inverse divided by z power minus 2 will become z the second step here it is you need to find a function and that function is nothing but this x of z by z so I will get this term now I need to factor these this uh, quadratic equation so I am uh, factoring this so I am getting z plus 0 0.75 and z minus 0 0.5 so I am going to find out now the applying the partial fraction so 1 divided by z plus 0 0.75 into z minus 0 0.5 which is equal to a divided by z plus 0 0.75 plus b divided by z minus 0 0.5 okay now here i need i'm i am applying partial fractions so 1 is equal to a into z minus 0 0.5 plus b into z plus 0 0.75 so up, substituting z is equal to 0 0.5 so this term will become 0 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.75 so which is equivalent to 1 is equal to b into uh, here you will get 5 that is 1.25 b equal to 1.25 so b equal to i am getting 0 0.8 similarly i am going to find out for the value of a similarly i am substituting z is equal to minus 0 0.75 so in this equation so i will get b term 0 so therefore i am getting a into minus 1.25 so a equal to z minus 0 0.8 so now f of z is equal to minus 0 0.8 divided by z plus 0 0.75 plus 0 0.8 divided by z minus 0 0.5. Okay, now here we, this is what f of z. Now we need to write it in terms of x of z. So x of z is nothing but f of z into z. So here minus 0 0.8 z divided by z plus 0 0.75 plus 0 0.8 z divided by z minus 0 0.5 okay so this is what now x of z we are having it okay now here what we need to do is here now we need to uh, apply the inverse z transform for this okay so now consider x of z is equal to minus 0 0.8 z divided by z plus 0 0.75 plus 0 0.8 z divided by z minus 0 0.5 is whatever x of a z now we know that that is a power n u of n z transform formula is z by z minus a for roc mod z greater than mod a okay so this is what the condition now okay now here first what is given here or was the first condition is or was mod z greater than 0 0.75 okay we, that is greater than 0 0.75 the region of convergence is greater than 0 0.75 that is it is extended outside the uh, large pole value z is equal to 0 0.75 therefore here that is a causal sequence since it is greater it is a uh, causal sequence okay and uh, the causal sequence so here we are considering this one and how we can write its inverse z transform for this condition is x of n is equal to here 0 0.8 is a constant so z by z plus this one right so here it in terms of z by z minus a so here minus 0.75 the whole power n into u of n for this plus 0 0.8 0 0.8 
z by z minus a so 0.5 the whole power n into u of n so the z transform of this one is x of n is equal to minus 0.8 okay i will take this as a common 0.8 so 0.5 power n into u of n minus uh, that is point uh, minus 0.75 the whole power n into u of n so this is what the ad answer for region of convergence greater than uh, 0.75 next one is mod z less than 0.5 okay that is here uh, it is interior to the smallest to pole value here it is interior to the smallest to pole value is it is equal to 0 0.5 so it is a non causal sequence so it is a non causal sequence okay so here in this case we need to consider here minus a power n u of minus n minus 1 formula is z by z minus a so this z by z minus a here also z by z minus a this can take the this is the resultant for two problem where causal sequence also you will get the answer for non causal also you will get the same answer because here uh, for causal we are considering the positive side here we are considering the negative side and here you are having only the minus so here for non causal we need to consider this okay so here how we can apply is here x of n the same formula so what you will get is here it is 0 0.8 is common for both problem so here you need to consider z by z minus a so what you need to here is minus instead of minus 0 0.5 the whole power n okay minus sorry here it is plus the same formula you need to apply here it is 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 minus according to the formula i need to have minus here right minus 0 0.5 the whole power n u of minus n minus 1 okay so i need to write like this okay so 0 0.8 so um, uh, minus is common so um, minus 0 0.8 minus 0 0.75 the whole power n plus 0 0.5 the whole power n into u of minus n minus 1 so this is what the answer for this problem here the one thing we need to consider is here if the denominator power is higher so what we can do is we can go using this partial fraction method if the numerator power is greater than you can choose the long division method if both are equal also you can choose this partial fraction method okay this is what one you need to remember while solving this uh, inverse is a transform the next problem is the this one here first step is what we need to do we need to divide this x of z by z so first before that we need to check whether it is in the positive powers if it is in positive power you can directly proceed otherwise if it is in negative power you convert into positive power now here it is in positive power so i am writing directly the second step so z divided by z minus 0 0.5 and z minus 1 the whole square okay so now i need to apply partial for the uh, for this one okay so partial fraction because here uh, i am i am applying partial fraction so z minus 0 0.5 and here c you are having the whole square so here how you need to apply is z divided by z b divided by z minus 1 plus c divided by z minus 1 the whole square already you are familiar how to apply partial fraction the same procedure here i am applying now i need to find out the coefficient a b c now here so here in the numerator it is z so this can be written as z minus 1 the whole square plus b into z minus 0 0.5 into z minus 1 plus c into z minus 0 0.5 into z minus 1 now i am going to find out the coefficients of 
a b and c so see here you will have c into z minus 0.5 you want have z power minus 1 okay z minus 1 so when I substitute z is equal to 1 in this equation so I am getting and here 0 here 0 when I substitute a 1 I will get c as 2 now I am going to substitute z is equal to 0 0.5 so when I substitute z is equal to 0 0.5 I am getting a equal to 2 I have find out a c next thing is I need to find out b so here I may not able to substitute this uh, any value to find out b so now I am going to compare the coefficient so here I will get the coefficient uh, here z square so I am going to compare the coefficients um, using this uh, to find out b now expand this uh, equation so that I am getting this one now compare take the z square coefficient so z square coefficient here it is a here it is b here there is no z square coefficient so a plus b equal to this side here there is no uh, z square coefficient so it is 0 so what I already know is 2 so 2 plus b is equal to 0 so b equal to minus 2 now I have find out b so either you can use this method or you can use directly this method in order to find out a and b so if you if without using this method you can use this method how you can is so first we have considered a plus b is equal to 0 next considered and uh, that is powers of z so minus 2a minus 1.5 b plus c equal to 1 like that you will have you will get uh, three equations so solving these three equation you can obtain the value of a b c now here we can directly obtain b because we already know a and c value now i'm going to substitute this value in this equation so next now i need to uh, i have written the values so then i have find out f, f, f x of z by multiplying with uh, all these term numerator by z so that i am getting this uh, uh, relations okay now i need to find x of n so we already know that uh, a of n u of n is equal to z by z minus 1 here what it is given region of convergence is greater than 1 so here it is a causal sequence so i am choosing this formula a of n u of n divide uh, z transform is z by z minus 1 and similarly here i am having z by z minus 1 z by z minus 1 here i am having z by z minus 1 the whole square so you know that but by differentiation property sorry by this uh, n into u of n uh, for that is a differentiation property so here you will get it uh, z by z minus 1 the whole square okay so here uh, when you apply a inverse z transform for this i will get x of n as x of n is equal to here 2 into so instead of a, a i am having 0 0.5 the whole power n u of n so minus 2 into 1 the whole power n into u of n okay so here i am having instead of a of n also 1 so I am having n into u of n okay so this is what the here I will have 2 right so I am writing to 2, 2n into u of n so this is what the answer resultant for this one so this can be written as 2 into 0 0.5 the whole power n minus 1 power, 1 power n is 1 so minus uh, here i will have 1 plus n into u of n so this is what the resultant for this answer so consider this problem here see both the numerator and denominator power are equal so here what we need to do is you need to apply long division method and then find out uh, that is a new that is quotient and reminder and we are going to write it in, in terms of some form so that uh, the numerator value will lesser than the denominator coefficient like that we are going to write it okay so here if i am going to apply the partial that is long division method so numerator 
operator I have written and also here it is a greater than 1 by 2 causal sequence so I have written in the decreasing order here also I have written in the decreasing order so z cube so z cube divided by z cube uh, first these two I am going to divide it so I will get 1 so when I multiply with this one so I will get minus 4 by z square plus 1 by 2 z minus 1 by 16 so change this sorry here it is negative positive negative positive so this will get cancelled so what I will get is I will get 1 by 4 z square plus 1 by 2 z okay so this is the quotient and this is the remainder now so this I can write it in terms of x, x of z is equal to 1 plus this term quotient I will write here so 1 by 4 z square plus 1 by 2 z divided by z cube minus 1 by 4 z square plus 1 by 2 z minus 1 by 16 ok so here when you cross multiply and you add these two terms you will get this term so here in order to apply partial fraction so I am converting this here now x of z is equal to 1 plus 1 by 4 z square 1 plus 1 by 2 z so this quotient you have to write it here whatever quotient you are heading you have to write it as separately plus this term you need to write it ok so now here we can apply partial fraction because here the numerator is lesser than the denominator so I can proceed in the same manner as such ok so here I am going to write this as 1 plus y of z where this y of z is equal to 1 by 4 z square plus 1 by 2 z divided by z cube minus 5 by 4 z square plus 1 by 2 z minus 1 by 16 so I can proceed in this way now I am going to find partial fraction for this y of z now consider this one here I have written x of z as 1 plus y of z I have taken this and here it is in cube uh, ok so I am going to write it in product term so that I am finding this uh, uh, I am using this method I am finding the coefficient so I am choosing 1 by 4 so here uh, when you you already know about this how to find out so just uh, take 1 so multiply this and write down the answer then simplify then multiply and write down the answer then simplify and write down the answer so here I am getting z minus 1 by 4 so z square minus z plus 1 by 4 so when you find out this coefficient uh, that is terms so I will get z minus 1 by 2 z minus 1 by 4 now I am writing this here so what I will get is 1 by 4 z square plus 1 by 2 z divided by z minus 1 by 4 into z minus 1 the whole square ok now using this you can uh, you use this term uh, to find out the partial fraction so in order to find the partial fraction the first step is what is the first step you need to find uh, that is uh, check whether it is in powers of positive power so it is in positive power then you need to divide this term by z then you need to find out the partial fraction ok so the, this is what the procedure so you what you need to do is you try this one ok and uh, you, I will post the answers uh, by today evening you try this one and find out the resultant so you try this method and uh, we will check the answers hope you have understand these concepts of uh, finding a inverse z transform by partial fraction method thank you